Well, that was easy. Yeah. Uh, what's wrong, Cuphead? I don't... Don't you feel like something else should be happening right now? Like what? I don't know. Maybe a fake movie trailer with clips added together from different gameplay of people playing our game. Or my game, anyway, because that has my name in it. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Oh, really? Don't you think that's a little more epic than the video made in Gary's Mod? Well, at least we're 3D. Mugman, for heaven's sake, we sound like the guy who's making the video right now. I'm not following. Okay, you know what? We're gonna start the video regardless of how cheesy this quality is and how stupid he's using an old 2000 and something logic webcam. I thought he was using an Xbox Connect. How can he be using an Xbox Connect? Okay, that's enough of that. That's, that's enough. That's just... Bada bing, bada boom, I apologize. Hola everyone, it's me, the boy who made a Cuphead duet acapella music video. Yeah, I did do that. But I mean, Sonic to the Luke. Sonic Luke, not Bonic Luke, it's Sonic Luke. Also, before we begin, I just want to say, why not stick around to the end of the video? Because I'll be giving you guys an official fan name by the end of the video that you guys picked out. So you might be asking yourself, Luke, what in the name of all that is holy, pure, and innocent is Cuphead. And why does this feel familiar to Ben? Editor's note, I forgot to add the scene in where I say that this is based off of old Disney and Fleischer cartoons. It's also based on a certain style of animation called Rubber Hose Animation, along with old cartoons that you may never heard of before. Unless your parents bought you one of these at Walmart. I don't know why I took a step back after I immediately said that, because those had a lot, a lot of old cartoons. Also, the devil in this game isn't a cat. How shocking! Even though Bendy wasn't the captain I thought he was. Also, the story is that Cuphead and Mugman gambled their souls to the devil to win a casino. And the game is called Don't Deal With The Devil. I feel like there's two meanings to that. Like two messages. Also, please keep in mind that everything in this video is my opinion and is meant to be good, clean, simple fun. And I don't know why I stuttered there again. Also, there is going to be a little bit of spoilers up ahead, so just for a heads up. And by fun, I mean having the fun of respawning every time you die and just dying a million times over. And then some. So there was a reason why I made that teaser. Huh. So with that in mind, let's not Google Cuphead and fandom together, those two words together. No, please. Now you may be thinking to yourself, Oh, Luke, I'm sure it's not that bad. I bleached my eyes. No safety search can save you when I Googled those two words. I have my eyes! Also, this video would be age-restricted if I did show you guys. Yeah, I'm not even kidding on that. So aside from me being unable to search and the Google engine, I guess we'll just head straight to DeviantArt early in this video, I guess. Now the first thing you'll notice in the Cuphead fandom is that there's a ton of really awesome fan art, and this is just like in any fandom, you're gonna find a ton of just really good fan art. This spells kind of scares me though, like most fandoms you'll see some really awesome fan art. Some are really cool, some are spicy, and others scare me, like the pretty anime boy ones. I don't know why, they just scare me. Especially the 3D ones. But they're pretty good models and pretty good drawings, and I couldn't do any better myself. Plus, I couldn't draw anime characters to save my life. Some people actually do a really good job of replicating the Cuphead art style, which is actually pretty cool and pretty awesome. And with any fan art in any fandom comes shippings. Like in Bendy, but with inanimate, inanimate, inanimate. Like with Bendy, but instead of ink humanoid hybrids, it's cup and fish humanoid hype. Wait, what? I don't think I'm speaking- Now, who do people ship who with what and why? Well... How about Cuphead with a giant humanoid hybrid type candy monster that tried to kill him at one point? Yep. Or how about a giant Greek legend who's a fish with a mug? Why do people want to ship a mug with a Greek mythology legend? Or a flower with a cloud girl? Lady, wait, what? And why do they want to ship him with the flower and a balloon thing and the... Oh, no, the mic's getting far away again. <laughs> well, 
uh, there is a ton of bosses. But I think I'll just skip over the fan fiction. So yeah, in case you don't know, the game has very creative designs for the bosses and they're pretty well designed. Such a... I'm going to edit this bit in the style of the Animaniacs that uh, Yako sings all the country of the world, the world country. He, he sings all the countries in this one episode of Animaniacs, so I'm gonna try to replicate that in the form of bosses. And I wrote it down, so in case you guys are wondering why I'm looking at my screen, you know why. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Oh, Veggie Tales, DOI Slime, Kermit Brothers, Ryu and Ren, a clerical that can turn to a blimp and then into the moon, fly from Undertale, which is the final boss of World One. And then we have some name I can't pronounce in the Milo Pony Yard style, Disney's Aladdin, Genie, and the Joker to Face Cloud. Oh, Eggman and Ghost Ring along with Sans from Undertale. Leopard with a house for a back and the wannabe pop by man, the B movie Dragon Tales, Han Solo lucky pair of dice, and the devil himself. And that's all the bosses there are. I hope I did the editing for that right. But yeah, there are a ton of characters in Cuphead, and with the DLC coming out soon, you're about to see a lot more characters and a lot more shippings with bosses. I mean, this guy is salty. About okay, okay, I'll stop. Let's move on to the YouTube side of this fandom. The same set that you're watching right now, only on YouTube. I don't know where I was going with that. And if you type Cuphead on the site and not fandom, cause it's the same thing on Google, you'll find a lot of stuff that you would find in most fandoms, but in this one in particular, we got fan animations, music videos, and Minecraft animations. Wait, what? Don't get me wrong, the, the animation was alright, it's just... I think I ranted enough about Minecraft for a while. Not to mention my cringy Minecraft YouTuber phase. The horror! I have nightmares about that every time I go to bed. I wake up, and I still hear my squeakier voice. So, um... What about comic dubs again? Yeah, we were going to talk about comic dubs, right? I was going to do a comic dub, right? You guys want to see a comic dub instead of me complaining about Minecraft in this fandom video? Yeah, yeah, you do, you do, do you really? Yeah, okay, let's let's uh, let's do it. Hit it, hit, hit it, man. Cuphead, what in the world are you doing? I'm boiling the holiest water, my pal. Ow, why are you making holy water? I couldn't make a joke saying I'm burning the devil out of water, which is not the original joke, and it's not that funny. But I could just say that to cringe you out. But instead, I am making the holy water. The holiest of water I am making. With just the water from the purest of waters, from the cartooniest mountains, boiled at 160 degrees and, and bathed within my, my, my cup ahead. It, it is made from the purest of waters. You, you've ever been to the local grocery market? They'll sell you the purest of waters only for a low, low price of one million dollars. You've ever been to the supermarket? They'll give you the holiest of waters for only one million thousand dollars. It is the best thing ever. You can buy five gallons of bottle of water, and it's so water. Is yes! So yeah, I believe that's everything within the Cuphead fandom I can talk about without getting age restricted and without getting age restricted. But yeah, that was the cleaner side of the Cuphead fandom, everyone. And now, the moment you all been waiting for, the new nickname for you guys, my, my loyal fans of this YouTube platform. From this day forth, you guys shall now be called... Lukers! That says Bonix! Congratulations on the new name, guys. Let me know in the comments section below how do you feel about the new name even though you picked it. Makes sense. Also, what would this Bonic of a Sonic go see of an original character would look like in the Cuphead art style? Or, or what object would I be in Cuphead and how would I be reacting to the world of Cuphead? Let me know by sending your fan art on either DeviantArt on Twitter and your fan art might be featured in the next video. So until next time, stay safe, have fun, God loves you and... Oh, wait, what day is it? Oh no.